Well, we got a 170 here, and we're gonna put uh, 180 gear on it. As you can see, it's got the wheeled pants, rare as hen's teeth, I suppose. And we're gonna got the 180 gear over here. This particular 170 has a 220 horsepower Franklin on it. I don't think you need too much more power than that. We've got a pair of 850s we're gonna stick on it. And those are the 180 gear. Clean those up, put a coat of paint on that. Everything looks better with a coat of paint. And so we'll take you through this. Maybe we'll learn something together. Of course, every airplane's different. And apparently this guy wanted to make sure his feet would never go through the floorboards. I hate worn out carpet, worn out floorboards. So he put this 80 thousandths piece of stainless steel in there. Let's see what it weighs. Oh, 2.8 pounds. Shit, that's, oh, well, what's a useful load anyway? You got 220 horse. Got it jacked up, lifting it up, kind of sketchy, but it's working good. Works, picked a lot of things up like that. Hope it's good. Anyway, taking the wedgies out of there. Taking the, the bolts out of there. And uh, we'll put the 180 gear on there. Should work out pretty good. So we got the gear legs in. One of the things I discovered was that this wedge here is uh, thicker than it needs to be. The gear is thick, thicker by about 70 thousandths or 80 thousandths, so it makes the shim too thick. So I had to like grind a little bit off here and I stuck it up in there. And what you really want to make sure is that when you get around to here, that you look in here and make sure that there's a little bit sticking out. You can see in the threads sticking out through the nut plate there. A lot of times those nut plates will will um, will break off. People put nuts on the back side and that can be a bugger too. So, so far so good. Looks like it has a lot of camber. Oh, we got little wedgies. I'm not sure we'll figure that out later. One of the things I did was I made these little bolts and they got a slot on top like that and I can put them into where the shims go and then I can put the shims in there and make sure the shims are good and then pull these out and then put the bolt in. I'll show you how I do that in a minute. Crash is empty. Sweet. So now I've ground them a little Ooh, bit I thinner. Oh. What do you, oh, you got them ground? Ground a little thinner. Perfect. You can look up there and the best. see yeah. my these things I can just fit up in there and slide in there. Got a couple new bolts. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Well, we did get it all on. We put it on grease plates, kind of slid it around. And uh, it just looks, it looks badass, really. Um, it's nice and tight. These gear were a used set. And uh, there is a small discrepancy in wingtip height that we haven't quite figured out yet. Not sure if we're gonna get that figured out, but gotta check uh, toe in and camber. But it looks, it looks super cool. I think it's a good mod. I'm gonna have to work backwards on the paperwork, but uh, we'll figure something out. That's about it.